Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com and I'm back with another video. If you are brand new to my channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. I have a really quick uh, project share for you today. I wanted to show you something that I created for Christmas. I just cr finished it a few days ago, but I wanted to show you something that I created for Christmas using some scraps that I've had in my house. And you can make lots of different things with scraps. Um, even though this is like looks brand new, I bought this oh, quite a while ago and it's the neutrals pack from uh, scrapbook.com. I love it because it has all the different neutral colors which can be used for um, skin tones. So that's the reason I got this one. And I also was using some scraps that I've had, uh, some Stampin' Up! scraps, uh, pieces of paper that I've had that this, these were like, a, I think it was celebration paper before. So this is gold stripes and dots. This is some glittery, sparkly paper. This is some red and white um, velvet uh, textured paper. And so I have that, I use those. And then I also use this, um, I got this uh, in the summertime, I believe. It is a die set from KS Craft called the Santa Mini Album. And so th that's what I created. Let me move this out of the way. I didn't do anything fancy with it because it's kind of a small album, but this is what I created. And so basically it cuts out the little uh, side pieces here for the, um, the binding. And I use the red velvet paper and the white velvet. There's this little sparklies in the background paper for a little Santa hat, Santa face or Santa head mini album. And I just did like five little pages. I'm going to add pictures in here and then I'll add embellishments. I didn't want to add embellishments first and then I had not have enough room for pictures. So just a few pictures that um, I took for Christmas. And it's the same on all the pages. I think it's a five page book. Yeah. Really quick to make. You send it through your die cutting machine. And so in the back, I did the same. But instead of putting the face there, I kind of just added the, the, the sparkly paper. I didn't put the uh, velvet paper there like I did that. But in order to do this, I just basically took the die and, and, and did it on the reverse side to cut that out. So it'll be um, so it will coordinate on the front. So that's all that I have for you for today. I am I will be back. I have lots more projects and lots more things that I have scheduled for this month and for the year ahead. Uh, one of my one of my words this year is to be more consistent with my videos and well, consistent in life in general. So that's all I have for you for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in any of the supplies that I use, so like the uh, the dye itself and some of the paper or the, the neutral papers, um, I'll be, be sure to leave a link for all that information down below. Um, and that's all I have for you today. This is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com and I'll be back with soon with another video.